Santa knows where to find all the best and hottest smartphones just in time to make this Christmas better and bigger than ever. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Ho, 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 ho. The Christmas season is a season for giving and also the time many nonprofit organizations ask for donations. That being said, it is the time phone scammers are the most active and the time they target those feeling generous, which many times is the elderly. And law enforcement officials are asking everyone to be on alert. They're targeting these individuals that, that are elderly and that, uh, you know, they may not know that much about or stay current on all these schemes that are going on and the, uh, the things that can happen. One scam in particular that has been reported recently is one where the victim is told that he or she has been selected to receive a grant of as much as twenty or even $50,000 that will be delivered as soon as a fee has been paid. Uh, I said, Mom, it usually doesn't work that way. I said, so... We need to check into it more, so I kind of investigated it out myself, and and uh, sure enough, it was a pretty much a scam. Man, this is a grant she doesn't even have to pay back, and they're offered by federal, state, and local governments, as well as private funding institutions. They asked her to send $489, and she's going to get up to $20,000, grant money, free, don't have to pay it back, you know, to an 83-year-old lady that's on fixed income. Sounds pretty good. And that's exactly what the scammer was hoping for. Jeff Coleman is thankful his mother told him about the phone calls before she took action, but that doesn't always happen. Both he and Detective Collins say that everyone needs to have a conversation about phone scams with elderly friends and family members this holiday season. Our grandparents and our parents, they, the elderly people, they need to be aware of this. And I think as our kid, my kids, I hope they talk to me when I'm <laughs> that age to got me. In Pikeville, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.